Morning guys. Um wanted to take a a minute to to talk about some of my successes this summer. Been doing quite a bit of a experimenting and kind of um downsizing if you will and this is one of my successes and so let's let's get right into it um soaker hose this is a uh, apex brand soaker hose and maybe maybe you call it a review um but more of a success in um in meat irrigating so about a year ago i did a one of my early videos um basically it was me and my son hoeing the pumpkin patch and uh and that's how we always did the pumpkin patch we would do it in either blocks or we would do it in rows and then i would come out here with a stand sprinkler and i would irrigate for hours i mean sometimes six seven eight hours and you'd come out here and you'd kick the top of it loose and it was it, it wasn't penetrating there's just not enough water um where i'm located it's house and barn and on the other side of that chicken coop is my hydrant so i have to pump water back here about 200 feet and and so it it wasn't very practical um and it was a, it was a big waste of it was just a waste um if we had a good rain season i would have uh quite a bit of squash and uh in fact one year we had a great corn crop um but it, it was unpredictable and 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 that sprinkler just wasn't enough being so far away and then trying to push it through like half inch water hose or five eighths water hose. You can't get the capacity back here. Even if you've got a big enough water system through hoses, you can't do it. So let's get into it. So what I did instead was I decided to be a little more intensive. So in the past, the squash patch would have come from about where my finger is all the way to that line over there um, and so it would have been right around a 30 by 50 foot area but what we what I did was instead of trying to do the whole space is I tilled up just one row and actually it's probably about 60 feet so I would say 35 by 60. So what I did is I tilled up one row and I put four inches of my cow manure, chicken manure, and you could see my, my next batch there. Um, and I laid about four inches of manure down in this space. Next thing I did was I, I planted and then I laid down this soaker hose. And and it was a little bit of a, a gamble because if you go to Amazon, the reviews are, are, boy, they're all over the place. So this is this is what I bought. Um, I know drip irrigation is, is far superior, but this was right around $22, $23 a piece. Um, and I bought two 100-foot rolls and... And, and, you know, reading the reviews, inconsistent, you know, inconsistent uh, spreading of the water or, um, you know, it would work for the first third or first quarter of the hose and then the last quarter. I get even disbursement and maybe there's some heavier spots, but I'm getting even disbursement. And the biggest thing is, is I'm getting the water at the roots. Um, I know that this is not, this is not genius stuff for for most of you guys but this is this is my success because um, in here the only thing I grow well here is weeds and the, 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 the top of it is is a little fertile but you go down 
man, you go down six, eight inches and it's, it's yellow blow sand. And so um, I have to irrigate this every three to four days and maybe a little bit less once I get some, some coverage of those leaves. But that's, that's my, uh, my squash patch this year. And we've got everything from uh, little, those 68 day uh, um, baby watermelons to loofah sponges and uh, butternut squash. And you could see that it's pretty intensive. Um, you know, I've got about a plant every foot but they've got space to roam and we've been doing some training, pulling them off to the sides and spreading them out. So they've got a lot of real estate. They've got a good energy base here and I could put irrigation to them. Um, and so, so far irrigating this area, this is a success. I will probably come back in uh, you know October. I got most everything time where the pumpkins and squash will be coming in in October. Um, it may, you know, I'd like to do a quick review. I guess my question is, is, is eventually I'd like to pump out of the pond. And um, has anybody had any success with soaker hoses coming out of maybe an IBC tote? Is that enough pressure for a soaker hose? Um, maybe some of you off-grid guys can speak to that. But, uh, but yeah, this is my success. If someone's looking at one of these, uh, Apex brand soaker hose, I, I think it's a winner for the price. It's, uh, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's done well. And one thing that it hasn't done is I have a horrible time with, uh, critter or bugs or little spiders getting inside the hose and then jamming up the sprinklers. Um, I don't have that issue at all with the soaker hose and that has been a real blessing. So hey, this is Joe, been pretty quiet on the farm this summer and uh, honestly I like it. Um, we've been just kind of uh, pulling back a little bit, trying to figure out what we actually uh, enjoy doing, what's profitable for us, um, and what's manageable for us as we uh, try to tame the wilderness here and raise five kids and, uh, you know, and try to enjoy our life here. So thanks for joining me. Um, we will see you later. Bye now.